Hi, my name is Elisa Flasco and I work on the Windows Azure Marketplace team. Today, we're going to take a first look at the Windows Azure Marketplace, the recently announced edition of e-commerce applications, as well as the most recent updates to the data market. We will see the many data and application offerings available from the Marketplace today, and look at the process of purchasing an application or a data subscription. Now, let's dive in. So here you can see the newly updated home page for marketplace.windowsazure.com. And we have both applications and data side by side that I can browse through. If we dig a little deeper and jump in and browse some of the data, we can actually take a look at all of the various data options that are available uh, to purchase. We have a number of different ways that I can filter through the data options. I can take a look at price, either free or paid. I can take a look at the various categories that each of the data offers applies to. Or if I have a specific publisher in mind that I'm looking for, I can actually dive a little deeper and look at a specific data set from a specific publisher. Now, if we choose one of the, the data sets from, let's say, Alteryx in this case, we can see various sample images that I can view to help make my decision. I can see additional details that are specific to this particular data set. For example, uh, what fields and what information can I actually query on? What results or what data am I going to get back from this particular data service when I query? And the publisher's terms of use. So I can actually read through the terms of use before I make a purchasing decision to make sure that the terms of use are going to work with what I need to do in my application. Now if we walk through the applications, and again we can see the same sets of filters, price, if I'm looking at free, paid, or we have another uh, application offer called catalog, which is for uh, applications that are listed in the catalog but aren't yet purchasable on the marketplace. I can look at the various categories that are available, or as again, a specific publisher. And once I've actually found an application that I want to purchase, I can walk through the purchase process. So we'll click on purchase. You can see that with this particular account that I'm signed in with, I've actually purchased things before and it remembers the credit card that I've previously used on the marketplace. So I have less information that I need to fill in, but I can verify my billing address, verify my credit card expiration date, etc. Click on next. It'll actually bring me up to uh, the confirmation page for my purchase and allow me to view the terms of use, agree to the terms of use for this particular uh, offer and actually confirm my purchase. And once my purchase has actually completed, I can now go ahead and actually use the application. So we'll click on the Use It link. And when I clicked on that Use It link there, what it actually does is it takes me off and sends me to the application that I just purchased. So you can see for Thuzi's Social Manager, it actually provides me with a site where I can choose to log in using either my Windows Live ID or my Facebook login that I already have. Depending on the application, it may take me to a slightly different page to create a new account or, or log into that application there. In this case, we'll log in with Windows Live. And then the application will take me in to finish any additional registration or configuration information that the application, in this case, Thuzi's Social Manager, actually requires from me. So that was a first look at the recently announced edition of e-commerce applications, as well as some of the most recent updates to the data market. Thank you for joining us, and hopefully we'll see you soon.